Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel family. You already know what time it is, gang gang. We understand. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button to be a part of the crew. Smash that like button to see what it do, y'all. Okay, so let's get into this reading for you. It's the year 222, so let's see what it do. What you guys can expect. Let's see what's popping out whenever it comes to love, life, family, relationships, all that good shit. So let's get into it. This is going to be for my Geminis, alright? Let's see what this... Let's see what comes out. Let's see what comes out for Gemini. Gemini, I can't lie. Let's see what you got. All right, so we got the angel of love. This one's in reverse. So now it's going to be a time to where you're going to find yourself sitting back, like trying not to show the fact that you want attention with the angel of love being in reverse. And you have the angel of balance. So now's the time to where you're going to be trying to balance your life out, get things together, organize, focus on yourself, focus on the goals and the things that you're trying to achieve whenever it comes to your life. And we have the fourth chakra archangel Raphael. So you're going to be opening your heart up to somebody new with this male on the coin. Okay, so you're going to be giving your time to somebody else. And this could also be some other thing that you end up investing time into in terms of like job-wise or just you trying to look for ways that you could increase your finances. But let's see what's going on here. Because we also have the community card and the thinking woman card. So you're going to be feeling like you want to sit back and talk to one of your friends as well. So it's like you got feelings for somebody that you uh, see as a friend. And my eye is jumping, so something's about to happen because we got the deceit card. So you need to be aware of the fact of with this hostilities card, you're going to be trying to sit back and let go of internal frustrations because with the deceit card, you're going to feel like you can't trust that person. And with the world card being reversed, it's like you can't really see your person yourself with that person after a while. So whoever it was in terms of friends that you thought that you had feelings for, it's like at the same time. After like talking to them as being more than a friend, you're going to start to feel like, I don't even know about this individual. Like, I don't know if I could take it there with them because it's not going to work. Like, there's something that you don't like that they're doing in terms of you not being able to trust them with that deceit card. And we have the rest and rejuvenation. So it's like they still holding on to somebody else and they're going to be showing that they a little bit indecisive whenever it comes to like, so this person's going to be like in and out whenever it comes to relationship wise, you're not going to be able to really trust them. And with the walking away card, it says that the, um, you're going to be sitting back um, with that rest and rejuvenation. You're going to be more chill, but with the walking away card, this person's the type to where, like I said, they're going to be in and out and they're also still trying to hold on to you. But with the heel of the ages, it's like you try to handle things in a mature manner. But with the indecision card, sometimes they be a little bit indecisive. And with the angel of strength, they be making the relationship, the connection isn't so tight with that one being in reverse. <clears throat> So just because they in and out and then whenever they are in and out, you'll be found like they doing stuff. It's going to cause you to feel like the, this relationship isn't as tight as I thought it was. Like, hold on. What's what's going on here? And then at the same time, it's like you guys really don't end up like whenever you decide to pull away. That's whenever with the walking away card. That's when they want to kind of like still pull you in. All right. Also, we have the caring connection card. This one's in reverse. And you have the financial constraints card. So right now it's going to be a time to where you don't care about your financial situation. Not really that you don't care, but it's like you don't care for the situation that you are in financially. Like it's like you're in a bad situation whenever it comes down to some of the things that you might have did or some of the things that you might have going on right now you might be in a situation to where you're trying to work on repairing your credit work on grabbing certain things in terms of materialistic wise everybody out here we all trying to get houses you know i'm um, trying to get cars everybody's trying to get you know like something that we are all setting our goals to obtain in terms of materialistic wise so right now you might not care too much for your financial situation that's why you're going to be sitting back trying to feel like you need to focus on that after you get out the relationship so after you see that things ain't going right in terms of this person being faithful and really staying in the relationship with you then that's when you're going to be feeling like you know what it's time for me to just kind of step away and focus on me and my money all right, also we have the journey card. So you not, so it's like with the sun card, you're going to be sitting back trying to make things work. But with the cornucopia card in reverse and the second chakra archangel Ariel in reverse, you're going to be feeling like you don't want to plan or have any expectations of getting closer to this person. Because with the second chakra archangel Ariel in reverse, you feel like things ain't going to work out. So, whoo. You guys have a lot that you guys need to take care of in terms of relationship-wise, friend-wise, okay? 
you guys going back and forth. One person invested in the relationship, the other person's not. Then it's like vice versa. Alright, so Gemini's right here is saying that right now you need to focus on sitting back. Try not to be too dramatic right now with that summon card and the chaos card in reverse. So try not to be too dramatic whenever it comes to your feelings when things aren't going the way that you want them to. You guys have to learn to manage your feelings a little bit better whenever it comes to love, relationships, or your situation that you're going through. Don't let, and this is in terms of managing your feelings to where if you're upset about your situation that you're in currently, don't let yourself be out of control in terms of getting upset and then you have a whole bunch of days to where you just like sitting back laying in the bed you don't want to do anything you don't sit back and procrastinate on this goal and that goal you still have to make sure that you keep yourself motivated during this time that's very important and then also we have the letting go card and the movement card so right here you trying to make um it's difficult for you to make moves to let go so it's like you still have feelings for this person that's why you let them also be in and out so whenever a person's in and out it's also you making them comfortable with them having the opportunity to come in and out of your life so it's a situation to where if they are in and out that means that you keep letting this person come in and if you see that they're in and out and you want to cause restrictions you need to put up some boundaries so that way a person knows that hey you are either in or you are either out of my life there's no keep on coming back in between in between and we keep playing this game Otherwise, if you don't set boundaries and restrictions, then you're going to let a person be comfortable with constantly coming in and out of your life and knowing that if, they were, if their situation is going wrong, then they can always have you to fall back on so that way they'll be in a better situation or so that way they'll at least feel good about themselves. So they're only coming back to you whenever they have their shit falling apart, basically. And then also we have the understanding card. So Gemini's, you have to work harder in terms of understanding and making better choices whenever it comes to the things that fulfill you in terms of you making you happy. So you guys have to understand the choices that you make. And then also you need to sit back and try not to have this sense of not belonging or, okay, or feeling like you don't belong in this world and, and whatever it is that you're doing, not knowing your way or, or directional path. And with the risk card, this is letting us know that sometimes you need to take more risk. Okay, sometimes you need to step outside of your comfort zone. Don't always be comfortable within one place, one area, or doing one thing. Alright, so hopefully this helps you guys out for today. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. Peace out.